okay. Um, before I go to bed, um, I just want you to think of a time where you were at a bus stop or when, you know, cars are rolling past and you, you're all alone, just either texting on your phone or, um, you know, you know, we're probably listening to music and neither girl is just looking at you, um, like glancing or just staring at you where, to the point where, you know, the stoplight is like red uh, or you probably see a couple and you start comparing yourself, you know, saying why I don't have a girlfriend or why I don't have a car. You know, those are like common questions we have as men, you know, as MGTOW. Um, the video is called Her Emotional Loss, Your Financial Gain. Um, I thought about it because um, I just got off the live stream of Left Side of the Brain. Um, talking about video game. I've, the live stream was called um, The Society is kind of like a no temporary happiness sorry temporary happiness um that would inspire me to like talk about this subject because um our real happiness um rely on things we like to do you know before we even met the opposite gender um you know, like, you know, how are we going to become, you know, as one, but we want to be in a relationship? That's not really becoming as one. That's just trying to pair up with somebody and, you know, trying to reason with them. But they, they just don't want to listen. But when they're trying to, you know, reason with you, you're more than happy to listen. No, it doesn't work like that in today's society. And um, I remember, you know, I was that guy that was, you know, at the bus stop, you know, maybe about like, I wish I had this or I wish I had that. But like, I feel like I'm just coming off emotional because, <laughs> you know, it's, I don't know, it's just that you try to get the best of yourself and it's all an illusion. It's, it's pretty much a, a tactic, tactic on yourself and it's just going to promote or escalate um, mental injuries. And, uh, and that's just what leads to like how women, you know, trying to, you know, you know, throw your burdens onto you like the avalanche. And you didn't really do anything. Like, they don't really do anything for you. They don't. They just basically, they're basically leeches. You know, takers instead of givers. You know, if you're going to live a happy life, you know, at least, you know, at least try to live your best life in, you know, in an independent manner. So, because it's just, it's not really worth it. You know, like, if you're going to be alone, don't worship materialism. It's going to make you more lonely and pretty much insecure. I think we've all been through that before. Let's just be real. I started to think about um, my past. Um, good thing I don't really have a girlfriend because I have to accept the fact that I am financially unattractive. But however, 
no, I don't care because it's not her money at the end of the day. I mean, who really cares? It's not really her money at the end of the day. Like, what does your anger have to do with me? Like, have to do with my personality? I mean, what I like to do, my activities, um, my morals and my perceptions, my beliefs. You can't really hinder, even before you even met me, you can't really hinder, you know, my uh, my thinking process. Because, you know, you can try to kill me, but you can't kill the truth. And people here need to realize that. Like when women just want to, you know, hit you where it hurts in your pockets. Like you have to pay for the dinners, you have to pay for like the luxury, you have to pay for the TV, you have to pay for this, you have to pay for that, so on and so on. To a point in your pocket it's like like tumbleweed season. <laughs> I don't hate women. I just get it straight, I just don't hate women. It's just that I don't want to, like, you know, cooperate or cohabitate. Because every MGTOW video I watch is that I can actually heavily relate. And it, it mirrors, you know, like, except for I've been, except like certain, certain circumstances, like where, you know, guys had to go to court. Um, for like getting custody for their children or like divorce rates. You know, if, I mean, let's just be real. If marriage, you know, was like really peaceful, then like, why do have papers have to be involved with this? Why does have the political uh, system have to be involved? You know, like why do we have to bring our children into this mess when we have to like, you know, take care of them? It's not why we have to put so much, you know, strain and pressure and suffering, eternal, eternal suffering at that. You know, why we got to do that? Why we got to bring that to our children? Let them be involved in like the maternal and paternal a stature of like, you know, you know, why, why just said, why it had to be that way? And, you know, some kids may be lucky to stay with their father. Some are not. People, like children really catch hell from their moms. That's why how crime rates escalate. Um, I'm, I'm really against marriage. I really am. Um, I mean, you don't see like animals pretty much get married. You don't see animals obeying or buying by the rules. I'm, I'm talking about like in wildlife experience, like not like cats and dogs. Well, I can count them as two. Yeah, you know I mean, you don't see them like if by freedom, then why do <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, and why I gotta follow the rules then opposed to animals because animals like they just don't care they don't care like they just go by their instinct in general and I was just wondering like you know we go by you letting like these magazines um, I mean, these Sims read these com cosmopolitan magazines or go like astrology websites or daily horoscopes, where the heck? And they let them define like what, you know, what day, what, like what day they're going to have, like whether it's be bad or good or have misfortune in life. And they easily get indoctrinated. They fall into this 
paradox. You know, then all of a sudden they'll gaslight themselves. And just because you lend these like women who create these or publish these magazines, you know, defining like, you know, your manhood, like how, how to get a woman and how being alone is really negative in their eyes. Dating is not, excuse me, dating is not what you think it is. I mean, dating is really a scam. Now that I learned that, um, I'm almost 30, so I'm like 27. But like, I, I just realized that dating is not what you think it is. It's not really all that. Like, if I want to date, really, to be honest, um, I can cite you on can vouch for this. I can go to the Philippines and just get a woman, but I'm not going to bring it to the Western, like, Western society. No, that's not going to happen. <laughs> that's really not going to happen because I'd be hearing some things like if you bring, like, a foreigner here or the foreigner or their family be here, naturally then like nine times out of ten they'll you know they'll become indoctrinated like you know like what to wear like how to speak um you have to walk on eggshells not to you know say the like the wrong cues or prohibit your body language basically just vegetating your your beliefs or extracting you from being who you really are. I mean, forget about the religion system or beliefs. Let's just say that you're afraid to be genuine. That's what the whole Western culture is. Like you, they want you to be afraid of being genuine. They want you to like be rely on a lie. Like just, just just clinch on a fairy tale instead of like reality because we live in reality but we live in a fairy tale world i don't know if that made any sense what i'm saying is like you lend these the media or like any other like uh not current event but like having all these like astrology people i'm i'm excluding Sai you on you let them they like like you let them like brag about your sign and like oh i'm a taurus oh i'm a scorpio oh i'm a cancer and like we brag about our signs you're bragging about like fictional things like depictions that does not pertain to who we really are, you know what I mean? Because when you was born, you weren't, you didn't know what your sign was. Let's just be honest, you didn't know what your sign was until, like, until your parents, like, talked about to the point you was, like, in your pre, like, your pre-teens. You didn't really understand what your sign was until you read an article or something. I mean, I mean, like, I, I mean, I don't want to tell my son. It just, I just don't really want to go there unless someone asks me on the comment session. But anyways, um, it's, it's just not all that. Like, stop, just stop bragging about, like, your astrology sign. You don't see, like, animals because we represent, like, an animal, a certain animal zodiac sign, but you don't see animals brag about their zodiac sign. They don't really have birthdays. You know, if we, I mean, what is a birthday? And where do these surnames come from? You don't really ask those questions. Why is my birthday in August? And like, why is there like certain days why is there like 31 days and like, why is there like 28 days in February? <coughs> Excuse me. No, we have to, 
you know, delve into these questions. You know, you, you know, like you have to secure your money because you're, you're buying stuff, you know, like we're basically yearning off materialism and we get emotional off of it, like Jordan's. Like, that's the main thing when we care about, you know, like sports. There's nothing wrong like in sports, but we got, sometimes we got to check our fellow man, like in the MGTOW community. Why are we so infatuated with materialism? <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> you know, that's why... That's why I'm just like, I won't say I'm off grid, but I'm just in, just going off like in the matrix because it's just a total farce and, and it's just like, you know, bubbles in the air and circus music all around. I'm not saying it's like real circus music, but like, I'm just using that as a metaphor. There's like, everywhere you go, there's like, you feel like you're in a circus, like, Spiritual wise, you do because I won't say you feel unstable, but like you just don't belong here, you know, you just really don't belong here in this planet. And I'm not saying like miss suicide or you know, I'm, I'm not here, that's not what this video is about. But that's what like women do, like they want you to distract you or extract you from your hobbies or your beliefs. That's why you have to like secure your money if you try and wait to date. If they ever ask you about like how much you make, what car you drive, uh, what do you do for a living, just go, just, just leave. It's not meant to be she wasn't into you, you know, from the start. You know, that's why I'm like, I'm just looking around and I'm just seeing like these dudes be having like, like Zodiac signs on like for as a tattoo. Like, I'm, it's just like, it's just, they're just making a big deal out of it. They really are like I. I just don't. I don't really get into that stuff. I mean, I used to when I was younger, when I was back in high school. But like you know, like how does it relate to me? Like how. What what makes me a better person, or what makes me a better man? You know, to. To like force me to force myself to acquiesce. Like, if I'm a Sagittarius, you know, like, those are my characteristics, yeah. But I can't, like, sometimes I can't overly agree on things that they say. I'm not saying I'm a Sagittarius, I'm just throwing an example. <sighs> but you, get, you just got to question yourself. Or don't be self-conscious of saying like, oh, why you don't fit in? Or wait, why are you so different from other people? Or why this woman never go up, went out with me? This popular lady. I mean, the, the answer is like, she's into somebody else. Um, that's not really on her level. She just like, she likes the guy out of material gain. And she gone off her emotions. That's not logic. How is it logic when, when a dude has like a nice car, you know, a fancy house, a swim pool in the back, <laughs> um, a Lamborghini, Ferrari, whatever the heck, but you you don't know his personality that well. Until you get knocked up or you just like getting beat the crap out of. Just saying. 
So why do we actually stay? Women, why do we, why do y'all stay? I don't know, I'll say why do we stay, but why do y'all stay? Is he narcissistic? You love his narcissistic personality? I mean, do you want to take his, extract his financial wealth? Because at the end of the day, you really don't know what wealth really is. You no, know, there's a rhyme, wealth is health. Health is wealth. You got to put that together. Because how are you going to live happy when you have all this material possession? It's going to make you more sad and insecure. Just like social media websites. Sorry if this video is like going 20 minutes, but what I'm trying to say is that stop being... Stop going off with your emotions, guys. Make tell. What I'm saying, like, uh, stop going off with your emotions and live your best life. Try do some financial securement. You know, do like go on vacation besides like buying a house to like flaunt, you know, or you know, show it to a Pacific lady because. It's going to be like her emotional gain is going to be your financial loss. But let's switch the word around. Let's vice versa. It's your financial gain, her emotional loss. As long as you, you know, cut her off. Just do, just keep your head up and keep going. You know, you know, create a legacy for yourself. Don't stop what you're doing. All right. Sorry this video has been long. I hate being long-winded. Uh, I really apologize, but I'm trying to get like my point across. And I will talk to you guys later. This is by an assassin MGTOW. Signing out. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Peace.